Perflex Biosense T-Crystal or Acri-Free Dentures can be relined with either hard or soft conventional acrylic. Additionally, they can be relined with soft material if desired. Relining Biosense or T-Crystal full dentures and partials with hard self-cure acrylic resin. We recommend using a silicon-based impression material. If you are relining a partial denture, be careful to avoid covering the inside of the clasp arm. Hard acrylic reline material does not flex, and cracking can occur in these areas post-insertion. Using Type 3 or Type 4 stone, pour the master model and place on a reline jig. Remove the denture from the master model. And remove the impression material. Reduce the internal areas to be relined in preparation for receiving hard reline material. We recommend slightly relieving the edge of the peripheral roll and up the flange surfaces two to three millimeters, creating a finish line to create a butt joint. Clean and sandblast reline areas. Apply a thin coat of Superbond primer. Then apply acrylic dough according to the usual procedure. Close the jig and cure in a pressure pot. Remove and finish as for acrylics. Relining Biosense or T-Crystal full dentures and partials with soft liners. Follow traditional techniques for pouring, mounting and preparing the denture for a traditional hard reline. Important, please note, the exception to these rules is that you must relieve the denture base enough to allow for two relines. Biosen's denture base material bonds to an acrylic layer first, and then the soft liner bonds to the acrylic layer. First, fabricate an acrylic layer using traditional techniques for a hard acrylic reline. Roughen and or reduce the surface of the newly placed acrylic layer to prepare the surface for the soft liner to bond to including the buccal and facial flange surfaces. Be careful to roughen only enough to prepare the surface and not remove the bonding layer. Consider creating a finish line on the buccal and facial surfaces of the flanges for a nice finish. Sandblast the surface using traditional techniques and lightly clean the internal surface to receive the soft liner. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for processing the soft liner. Place in a pressure pot and cure under pressure. Remove from the pressure pot and finish according to the manufacturer's instructions. <laughs>